Three, two, one. Welcome, Nerd Red Like. My name is Illusions, and this is just going to be a little informal vlog. Is that a word still used? Um, I just wanted to give a little update on what's going on with um, Nerd Relic as far as the site, as far as the YouTube, as far as the Facebook. Um, yeah, uh, I originally started this channel just to have fun. Um, I didn't really think beyond the um, the hobby aspect, and it's still very much so a hobby. I, I am by no means um, a YouTuber in the true sense of the, of the word. Um, I like creating content. I'm not overly versed at it. Um, I enjoy what little editing I know. Um, I mostly like just creating this this form of entertainment for somewhat for myself. Um, as far as like the the junk Montana, the uh, the bro brew review. I really enjoy doing those. Um, our Dare Miss and, and Steel Fox, I like having them over and having a few and laughing and, and also promoting the Montana, you know, made stuff, made in Montana stuff. <clears throat> I really enjoy that. And um, I guess this update is also just to say uh, thanks to to the few subscribers that I have and the few watchers. <laughs> Um, that I have. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking that that subscription button. And for those who, you know, hit that like button, thank you for that. That is that is awesome. Um, I'm I'm definitely not you know, <laughs> I'm definitely not breaking the bank account through my uh, my YouTube page here, but um, it's fun. I enjoy it. A lot of the stuff that I create is um, is mostly like memories, like the gaming with Osmandius and Still Fox and a few of my other PSN network friends. Um, a lot of that stuff is just, you know, click back on it. Oh, that was a fun raid or that was a fun strike or or that type of stuff. And in the um, loot crate boxes, those are almost like therapeutic to me uh that is definitely like just pure hobby um like t-shirt that i received in the last um firefly cargo crate so uh, i do like the items but i think i like the just the the doing of you know the unboxing the seeing what's in there and seeing you know do i know this franchise you know and especially the older stuff that come in some of the or that used that I used to open in like the loot crates, you know some of the older stuff like oh that's awesome like the <laughs> I'm really rambling but that's what I do. They had this Pitfall Canteen, you know Canteen style, you know Pitfall theme from Atari. But um <clears throat> oh another thing that I want to touch upon that you know that really kind of spawned the name Nerd Relic. Uh, I did a Kickstarter campaign and for the uninitiated this is a dice bag a small dice bag and inside <clears throat> are uh, Mahdi dice so there you, that is what they look like and Ardermas was very instrumental in the design of Mahdi dice I had the a rough idea of what I want Mahdi Dice to be. And for those who are wondering, um, it's for tabletop gaming. Are, are there, you know, they can be used for a wide variety of tabletop gaming. But what I've played in the past has been Dungeons and Dragons. And these were modifier dice that I thought of. It would be kind of a fun, cool idea for... Um, or like damage dice like a this is a die this is a 1d6 six sides 
and um, <clears throat> well, teach my sons how to play. It was a lot of fun, but they're so, uh, you know, four boys playing. Andrew, not so much, so maybe three, but then having friends over and Ardermus and his brood and Steel Fox and his clan. And so what these are is you roll, let's say you rolled that one and you have a plus, you know, two to hit. Well, then you can see up in the corner there it results in a three so it's just a quick reference yeah i had people when i launched I, this was actually a campaign on kickstarter <clears throat> and um <clears throat> the first time i ran it the the campaign it was not successful and i, I it hit me hard i was like oh, i failed and i was like oh my gosh you know it was I was weird. I didn't think it was going to hit me as bad because I was like, oh, I'm just going to throw this idea out there. If it makes it awesome, if not, then, you know, the only thing I'd be out was I, um, these are done by Q Workshop. And so I paid a decent amount of money for the prototypes. And there was like six prototypes total or maybe five. And um, it failed. And I, I was devastated. I was like, you know, I felt so low. But then in the springtime, Kickstarter sent out an email saying that they were doing this promotional thing called a one-off. And there was like three criteria that you could fit in and they would feature your campaign if you fit within this criteria. So they would put it a part of their mailing and stuff like that and you know it would get it would get publicity through them if you fell into certain criteria and one of those criteria or a couple of those criteria was it was a seven day run so the first campaign i did it was like 32 days or 30 days of trying to you know get crowdfunded and it was x amount of money but with this one off it was a seven day run that's the maximum length. And then the second criteria fell in several different categories. One of those categories was a one-off, just one reward. So my first campaign, there was like different tiers of rewards, like one set, two set, you know, all this other stuff, t-shirt, you know, all these different um, backer rewards for different tier levels. But on the second time around, it was for seven days and it was only for one set of dice. And I drastically dropped the price of my goal, the, the price goal for that campaign, because I, I'm not, I wasn't in it for the money. I wasn't looking to pocket a whole bunch of money. I just really wanted to see if this idea would take off and work. And I just, I wanted to share this idea because I thought it was fun. You know, it, it saves time, um, which had dice here, but, um, uh, there's another channel, guy's pretty awesome. There's another channel, and he was explaining, you know, he has this video, you've been rolling dice wrong. And it's like, how do you roll dice wrong? So I clicked on it, and one of the cool things was that in tabletop gaming, or like Pathfinder and Dungeons and Dragons, you roll a d20, a 20-sided dice, for, um, you know, for an attack. And you have to get a certain number to hit uh, so this is a very rough explanation but um he had mentioned or he had suggested to roll both of them at the same time because i know for myself when the couple times we've done D, &D sessions they've gone long because there's so many of us that played at one time i think our one session there was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's like 10 plus players and i was the dm or gm dungeon master or game master and there was a that was a lot of people to control and a story setting and try to get them to move along the adventure <clears throat> and the dice part is actually a big time sink and the the um uh, dwarven forge is the guy <clears throat> please look up his channel really cool stuff um, but he had suggested rolling the d20 
the dice that determines if you hit or miss or the action and then whatever damage dice that you're using so let's say it's you know a short sword i think a short sword it's 1d6 but um you roll them both at the same time so that way you know if you hit you've already rolled your damage dice and then you can just quickly like add that up like okay i did hit and i rolled this for damage and it might not seem like a lot but when you have especially when you have teens or younger playing and they roll the d20 i hit and then they're like okay oh, what's my damage dice okay this is my damage dice i rolled i rolled a three do you know and looking on their sheet do i have a plus for hit or you know do i have a strength plus or a weapon plus and you know it'd just be easy to tell you know at the beginning of the game you know i always have a plus whatever to this roll be it like a plus four you know i always have a plus four so i'm always going to be using that plus four modifier which is right there so when he rolls a three when he or she rolls a three it's always going to be a seven so i thought that was really cool <clears throat> and it helps on on time because yeah some sessions can go long i think our one session went like <coughs> 12 hours or something ridiculous and that was partially my fault it was a really cool adventure it was called um to the bone and they fought 100 skeletons skeletons are not that tough to beat but dang the volume of skeletons and it was in a cool uh dungeon and there was traps and then you have the uh the uh paranoid player anyway you know you look down the corridor it's dark and you know they're like i search every inch of you know it's just a corridor get to the door you know but that's part of the fun but anyway that's what that's another update or that's you know before my channel was called uh the nerdery and i really like that name because you know in in shakespeare there's that line get thee to the nunnery and and before in my basement at home i had like a man cave type place and i you know get thee to the nerdery so i was like oh the nerdery that's a fun name nerdery you know illusions nerdery well yeah you do a search for illusions ner nerdery back then in youtube and it wasn't popping up for anything and i was like oh come on this is such a cool name but um when doing this dice campaign i was thinking you know like a rebranding of my channel and nerd relic i was like nerd relic that is an awesome name nerd relic i'm an older individual i'm getting older i'm i'd, I'd like to self-proclaim as a nerd so um i i did do due diligence and i searched the internet i googled i looked on youtube i looked on facebook for nerd i like to make sure i wasn't stepping on anybody's toes and i didn't see anything so i was like yeah nerd relic and then under the kickstarter campaign it's actually you know product by nerd relic and i'd like to consider you know my close friends as part of that nerd relic i wouldn't say company but know part of that nerd relic name so like Ardermis and and steel fox so yeah um i'm actually in the process of mailing these out and i've already presented the idea to Ardermis about doing more um uh Madi dice which these are aptly named Madi dice you know to maybe include a d4 or a d8 maybe even up to a d12 depending on the design because that's basically all the um the damage dice really so um that would be that would be awesome and and to try another kickstarter would be also equally cool um but yeah so <laughs> this is a channel update and if you're still watching thank you i hope to do more I will be doing more loot crate unboxings, um, especially the uh, the Firefly cargo crates. I'll still be doing those. Those are I just like doing those. I don't I don't know why I put them out on on YouTube. Um, 
because they're like very self therapeutic i just like opening them and showing like oh this is cool but um i hope to do at least one more bro brew review slash drunk montana with um Ardermus. he is he'll be leaving the area at the end of the uh summer he's moving on on an awesome adventure to his dream location i don't know if he wants me to say maybe i'll say in a video but he he is heading off on the next leg of his journey which i'm so proud of him he he really wanted to move to this location and he did it he set out and he did it so you know with help with his significant other of course but um very cool i'm gonna miss him i'm already kind of getting sad about it even though we don't hang out a lot or still fox even though we all live in the same area but hopefully the three of us will have another drunk montana in and feature another made in montana product uh, spirit or liqueur or <laughs> maybe even a beer but still fox is not a big fan of beer and i'm hit or miss um but that has been awesome. I've really liked that. I wish I would have, you know, went after that more so than what I did. Because we have met some amazing people through that that show, that Bro Brew Review. Um, we've gotten some cool stuff. And, and again, by no means was this an attempt at, you know, I'm drinking your stuff. Send me, you know, free shit. That that wasn't what it was about. It was really about a uh, clever way of, you know, finding an excuse to get my boys over so we can knock back a few and and laugh. But um, that was the initial, you know, like, hey, I, I want to drink with my friends, but we're at that age where the significant others are like, no, you get drunk, you know. I was like, well, what, what? How can we pull this off? I was like, oh, let's do a, a review, a drinking review of, but um, then it turned out to be like, I think like the first couple Montana made stuff were like, this is really good. What else is being made in the state that we can try, and then you know just kind of get the word out on there, like you guys got to check this stuff out. Um, so that's kind of how weird that was born from, and um, uh, like I said, we met some really cool people. Still Fox and I uh, had an awesome opportunity to go meet Carl, you know, the, the mad science genius behind Uncle Carl's Prohibition style whiskey um, at his distillery, a stole st <laughs> steel toed distillery. And that was that was amazing. That was so freaking cool to go see the process, to go see, the actual distillery and and listen to this guy's passion for um, for his product and his passion for the other stuff in his life. It was really cool, and um, and never once did I thought that you know that would come about from a silly drinking show with my buddies, but um, you know, it was pretty dang cool. My watch is informing me it's getting close to getting ready for work but um anyway so that that's a quick update i'm still gonna be making videos uh summertime's coming loot crate has kind of slowed down because i'm only getting a box every other month um hoping to get in one more bro brew review slash drunk montana uh i know there's more stuff out there that we can try and there's there's even stuff from the um distilleries that we've already tried like steel toe distillery uh we actually did a show on the whiskey but there's a settler's tea and then there's a gin i don't know if we'll try the gin i'm not a big gin fan but the settler's tea i definitely want would like to do a video on and try um wow i'm saying um it's not good it's not professional etiquette video making talk speaking but, but, that is really it. Uh, appreciate, again, appreciate the subscriptions. Appreciate the likes. 
Um, the, the few, <laughs> the few comments that I have received, thank you. I try to, you know, answer those or interact. So yeah, be on the lookout for more Nerd Relic content. I really haven't decided where I'm going to go with the uh, Mahdi Dice or the Nerd Relic as far as a name. It would be awesome to get a line of, you know, tabletop dice accessories. You know, dice to enhance your, your tabletop game or to speed it up like mentioned about these dice. But anyway, I'm already at the 20 minute mark and if you've listened to me ramble on this long, thank you and... That is it. Just really thank you. And hope to be putting out more video content in the near future. And remember, we're all on this ride for a little while. Be kind to one another. Thank you. Bye.